In many, in many cultures, cultures several, several parallel, parallel images, images of a human face, face, head or body are recognized in the disk of the full moon. They are generally known as the man in the moon. The images are based on the appearance of the dark areas, known as lunar maria, and the lighter colored highlands and some lowlands of the lunar surface. There are various explanations for how the man in the moon came to be. A long-standing European tradition holds that the man was banished to the moon for some crime. Jewish lore says that the image of Jacob is engraved on the moon. One another held that he is the man caught gathering sticks on the Sabbath and sentenced by God to death by stoning in the book of Numbers 15.3236. Three some Germanic cultures thought he was a woodcutter found working on the Sabbath. For there is a Roman legend that he is a sheep thief. One medieval Christian tradition claims that he is Cain, the wanderer, forever doomed to circle the earth. Dante's Inferno alludes to this. For now doth Cain with fork of thorns confine on either hemisphere, touching the wave beneath the towers of Seville. Yesternight the moon was round, different patterns identified in the appearance of the near side of the moon, among them the man in the moon and the moon rabbit. This is mentioned again in his paradise, but tell, I pray thee, whence the gloomy spots upon this body, which below on earth give rise to talk of Cain in fabling quaint. John Lilly says in the prologue to his Endymion, 1591, There liveth none under the sun, that knows what to make of the man in the moon. In Norse mythology, Mani is the male personification of the moon who crosses the sky in a horse-drawn carriage. He is continually pursued by the great wolf Hattie who catches him at Ragnarok. Mani simply means moon. In Chinese mythology, the goddess Chang'e is stranded upon the moon after consuming a double dose of an immortality potion. In some versions of the myth, she is accompanied by Yu Tu, a moon rabbit. Another mythology tells the story of Wu Gang, a man on the moon who is trying to cut down a tree that always regrows. In Haida mythology, the figure represents a boy gathering sticks. The boy's father had told him the moon's light would brighten the night, allowing the chore to be completed. Not wanting to gather sticks, the boy complained and ridiculed the moon. As punishment for his disrespect, the boy was taken from earth and trapped on the moon. In Japanese mythology, it is said that a tribe of human-like spiritual beings live on the moon. This is especially explored in the tale of the bamboo cutter. In Vietnamese mythology, the man in the moon is named Koi. He was originally a woodcutter on earth who owned a magical banyan. One day, when his wife ignorantly watered the tree with unclean water and caused it to uproot itself to fly away, Koi grabbed its roots and was taken to the moon. There, he eternally accompanied the moon lady and the jade rabbit. Twelve, and the trio has become the personifications of the Tetrung Thursday, when they descend to the mortal world and give out cellophane lanterns, mooncakes and gifts to children. In Latvian legends, two maidens went naked from the sauna with carrying poles to the well. While collecting water, one of the women noted how beautiful the moon is. The other was unimpressed saying her but is more prettier and proceeded to moon the moon. As a punishment, either Deves or Menace, moon deity, put the woman along with a carrying pole on the moon, with her but now being visible to everyone. Traditions Further information, the man in the moon stayed up too late multi-layered tradition. There is a traditional European belief that the man in the moon enjoyed drinking, especially claret. An old ballad runs, original spelling, our man in the moon drinks claret with powder beef, turnip, and caret. If he doth so, why should not you drink until the sky looks blue? 16. In the English Middle Ages and Renaissance, the moon was held to be the god of drunkards, and at least three London taverns were named the man in the moon. Seventeen. The man in the moon is named in an early dated English nursery rhyme. The man in the moon came tumbling down and asked his way to Norwich. He went by the south and burnt his mouth with supping cold peas porridge. Examples and occurrence globally. One tradition sees a figure of a man carrying a wide burden on his back. He is sometimes seen as accompanied by a small dog. Various cultures recognize other examples of lunar pareidolia, such as the moon rabbit. In the Northern Hemisphere, a common Western perception of the face has it that the figure's eyes are mare imbrium and mare serenitatis, its nose is sinus estuum, and its open mouth is mare nubium and mare cognitum. This particular human face can also be seen in tropical regions on both sides of the equator. However, the moon orientation associated with the face is observed less frequently, and eventually not at all, as one moves toward the South Pole. Conventionalized illustrations of the man in the moon seen in Western art often show a very simple face in the full moon.
or a human profile in the crescent moon, corresponding to no actual markings. Some depict a man with a face turned away from the viewer on the ground, for example when viewed from North America, with Jesus Christ's crown shown as the lighter ring around Mare Imbrium. Another common one is a cowled death's head looking down at Earth, with the black lava rock hood around the white dust bone of the skull, and also forming the eye sockets. The man in the moon can also refer to a mythological character said to live on or in the moon, but who is not necessarily represented by the markings on the face of the moon. An example is Yu Lao, from Chinese tradition another is Aiken Drum from Scotland. The Man in the Moon by Francis Godwin, published in 1638, is one of the earliest novels thought of as containing several traits prototypical of science fiction. Scientific explanation. The Man in the Moon is made up of various lunar maria, which ones depend on the periidolic image seen. These vast, flat spots on the moon are called maria, or seas, because for a long time, Astronomers believe they were large bodies of water. They are large areas formed by lava that covered up old craters and then cooled, becoming smooth basalt rock. 22. The same side of the moon, containing these maria that make up the man, is always facing Earth. This is due to a tidal locking or synchronous orbit, thought to have occurred because of the gravitational forces partially caused by the moon's oblong shape, its rotation has slowed to the point where it rotates exactly once on each trip around the Earth. This causes the same side of the moon to always face toward Earth.